Hi, this is Barbara Dam. Today I want to speak to you about speaking slowly. If you're a person who stutters, you've probably been given the advice to speak slowly. If you're a parent of children who stutter or a child who stutters, then you've probably been advised to speak slowly to your children. What is speaking slowly all about? And is this really good advice if you stutter? Let's look at it a little bit more carefully. When we think of doing something slowly, we don't necessarily do it correctly. That is, if I'm learning to ride a horse and I hold the reins incorrectly while I'm riding, but I do it really slowly, that's not going to give me very much in the future to become a good equestrian. True, if I go at a very slow pace, I might not fall off at that time. But am I really learning how to ride correctly? Mm -mm. Same thing true with speaking. There's slow and there's slow. Yes. Doing something slowly is good when you're just learning how to do it because it gives you a chance to be more aware of what you're doing and it gives you a chance to, if you make a mistake, to correct your mistake. You have to do it with awareness. And then slow is okay. But just to speak slowly doesn't necessarily mean that you're changing the way you speak or doing it correctly. Because in speaking slowly, there's all sorts of slow. For instance, I'm going to speak slowly and it's really not the correct way. Like today, I'm going to see someone who I know that's not speaking correctly. And if you speak that way, you'll never be able to speak naturally. On the other hand, if you speak this way very slowly, it's really the way I speak anyway, but slower than I usually speak. So slow can be okay for a certain period of time if you're learning how to speak naturally. But just the idea of speaking slowly isn't going to give you anything to speak naturally because there are so many different ways of doing it. Now, if you happen to have learned to speak slowly and it did help you, well, I guess you got to the right way of doing it. And that's great. And some people will inadvertently get to the right way of doing it. But it's kind of going through the back door. It's not really understanding what natural speech is all about. I'm for speaking naturally. I am all for people who stutter learning to do what people who don't stutter do. And that doesn't mean speak fluently. It means doing the processes that people who don't stutter do. It doesn't mean trying to be fluent. It means just using your system in the natural way. So, if you're learning to do that, that's fine to go a little slower in the beginning. And if you're doing it correctly, it really won't be difficult to do it at a faster rate as you go on. However, don't fall in the trap of any slow is okay, because that is only going to cause you frustration. So I hope this video has taught you a little bit more about stuttering and what you can do about it.